So hi guys, hello, guess what we're going to talk about today? Can anybody guess? Does anybody know who this is? That's right, we're going to talk about Rice Krispies. No we're not, we're going to talk about The Rocketeer. Uh, one of my all-time favourite movies. Starring the legendary Bill Campbell, uh, Jennifer Connelly and Timothy Dalton. And this film, this film is brilliant. This is one of my all-time favourite movies. Um, a lot of the films that are my favourite films were the ones that were with me when I was uh, younger, like the Star Wars, uh, Indiana Jones, Flash Gordon, you know, things like that. But this this came 1991, I was probably about 18, 19. Uh, my parents went on holiday, I think they went to a wedding um, in America without me. And I just passed my driving test and my mum actually told my dad to take the starter motor out of the car. So, yeah, he didn't, and the first chance I got, went to the cinema to see Terminator 2. Unfortunately, I missed that, so I want to see Rocketeer instead. Um, and I'm really glad I did, because this film, if you were to ask me which one has a softer spot in my heart, I would probably say Rocketeer. Um, it was a character created by Dave Stevens in his comic books. Um, Cliff Secord is a pilot. Flies racing planes. Set around 1938, because it just told me that on the back there. And, oh, it's, I don't know, it's such an interesting, colourful time. Um, there are certain times in history that you look at and they look at bright moments. And this, that era was kind of 1938, probably was one of them. Um, like I say, Cliff Sea, so... He's got, oh, that is a really difficult name. Let's start again. Cliff Secord, not Cliff Second. Yes, Jordan, I am talking to you. Go home, check with your mum, make sure you get the name right. Cliff Secord, pilot, uh, one day while out practicing, um, is shot down by the FBI as they are chasing some hoodlums who have stolen something. Um, they hide it in one of the planes in the hangar. Uh, Cliff Seacord crashes his plane, destroys it, and uh, the FBI catch the guys, and obviously they think that the piece of equipment they were after has been destroyed. Uh, this piece of equipment has been built by uh, Howard Hughes, who is real. Um, this is before he started keeping pee in jars and growing his fingernails and being really weird. Um, it's funny, he, he crops up in a few films because th there's also kind of a version of him in Diamonds Are Forever, the one film. But that's a different story. Go check that one out yourselves. So yeah, so Cliff Seacord has a girlfriend in it, uh, played by uh, Jennifer Connelly. Uh, she plays Jenny, uh, which is strange because in the original comic book, Jenny looks like that. You see that? You see that? Um, I'm trying to find a picture in here where she's not too naughty because she's based on um, a famous adult entertainment star from the 1930s, 40s, maybe 1950s, um, called Betty Page. Because in this she's called Betty um, and does a bit of posing. Disney obviously didn't want to touch on that because that's adult stuff and ooh, we're not, you know, we're good old Disney. Um, so, yeah, they didn't touch on that. But they also redesigned the backpack because in the original one it looks like a vacuum cleaner, which they made a joke of because the wrecked version of it is a vacuum cleaner. Um, it's got gangsters in it. It's got, night, you know, nightclubs. It's got some really great set pieces. There is a, a scene where... Um, because Cliff crashes his plane and also blows up some fuel, um, the guy that owns the airfield says, right, you got to pay me for it. So him and PV have to do like a stunt show. And a friend of theirs goes out and does it instead and passes out in the plane. And so this is the first time that Cliff, who's found the backpack and built the helmet and all that, him and PV, and they... What does he say to him? You look like a hood ornament? And he goes up, and it is a great set piece. There's some clever camera work in there because they used 
stuntmen um, in the suit with the backpacks, but the backpack underneath it. I think that's why they made the backpack bigger. He's a parachute. Um, I mean, Bill Campbell is brilliant. He's proper old school action hero. Very Errol Flynn, which is then funny because Timothy Dalton, who's in it, um, playing... I don't know what this name I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this name tattooed on me Neville Sinclair I've watched this film a thousand times Neville Sinclair should be in there uh who plays Neville Sinclair but he plays it very much like sort of a cross between Earl Flynn and uh the guy from Gone with the Wind whose name's gone out of my head but anyway he plays it very much like that he's the, the very thing of his kind and he's obviously not the hero because obviously back then anybody English in a film was the bad guy i mean this is around the same time as things like die hard and stuff like that so yeah um i will admit i'll make a lot of what's in this isn't in the film pv uh, it's played by alan aiken in the, the film is a lot different as well but they got the they got the outfit right and that's all that's important and it's got great action some wonderful set of pieces the only thing is I suppose you could say that this came out, like I say, the same time as Terminator 2. And Terminator 2 was the big special effects film of the year. And so... Everybody went to see that. Rocketeer suffered badly for that. It's not its fault. Um, if it had been released a year later, it would have probably had better sort of maybe CG effects. But then CG effects still then were great. If it had released the year before, it would probably have been the only thing out that summer and it would probably have been a really big hit. Um, like I say, this is the same sort of era as things like Batman and stuff like that. It's It was... And I, I would put this up there with my, my favourite films like Indiana Jones. I mean, like I say, it was directed by uh, Joe Johnson who later on brought us Captain America First Avenger. And he really captures the atmosphere of the era. He really does. The planes in it are brilliant. The set piece at the end with the blimp is fantastic. I mean, as a kid, I would probably, if a younger kid, I would have probably hated it because the Rocketeer himself ain't in it much, if you know what I mean. But we watch films as we get older for plot, not just for the fact that there's a bloke in a suit flying around. So there we go. So yeah, this is one of my favourite films. I have lots of, as much merchandise as I can get. I've got some action figures up there. I've got a model kit of it. Um, which is one of the original Screaming ones. Um, this is my Rocketeer helmet. I'm hoping one day to build the backpack. Um, out of Papakura, if you know what that is. If you don't, Google it. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favourite films. If you haven't seen it, go out there, get hold of a copy, uh, wherever you can find it, and watch it. It's really good. I'm not sure if it is available on... Uh, I like to get this from America. Canada, actually. I'm not sure if it's available over here, but... If it isn't, I'm sure you can find it on Netflix. But yeah. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, say hi. Um, the more of you that are joining, the better. I'm really enjoying the fact that you care enough to join, to subscribe. Um, hopefully I'll be doing more of these, talking about more films like this. If there is a film out there you want me to talk about... Mr. Monk, please leave it. I am going to do Transformers, but it means I've got to watch them and they're terrible. I will talk about some films at some point that I don't like. Because, you know, it's no good just talking about stuff you do like. So, if you like this, say hi, subscribe. Um, it is brilliant that you're out there. And it is fantastic that you people care enough. I have a badge, which I'm going to start wearing soon. Let me see that. Thank you for the badge. You are brilliant out there. I will see you all very soon. Have a great day, a great night, and I'll see you all.